everyone, my name is Gary Wolf and welcome back to Homestuck. We just barely got into Act 4 and we got a brief intro of... I guess this is basically the world beyond Gate 1. And we just did some exploring, learned a little bit about this world. Really a little bit, not much. But, you know, we learned they have a parcel system. And these imps hate frogs. Uh, I would say that's about it. But, yeah, we're just getting into this act and... Let's go to the next page. In a future settle askance of the present. Too bad we didn't leave that awesome music, am I right? Oh my god, a frog statue. Damn. Collateral des desecration mars the sacred illicit. Key? Oh, it's you guys, so you did that by accident then. I thought someone hated frogs a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> I did not know these worms can do this. Or did I know and I just forgot. What the heck? Why? I... It's just like full-blown war here now. God, are my dudes doing okay? Are you guys like dead? It's just destruction everywhere. This is supposed to... Cause the apocalypse. Not this is not supposed to c continue happening. At what you know after there's an apocalypse, flop. On my on my ham and my peas and stuff, man. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Did you not shoot him? Why? You recognize that symbol? What happened to the other person, the the male lady? Cause it's like they're they're up there somewhere. You're down here. Weird. Oh, there there she is. Dang, she coming back with a vengeance. Holy crap, she's good. In the mystic roots of an era pre desecration. Hey, look, we're back here. An eight. Ancient time castle ca caps capsule has blossomed. You find nested in its petals a juice stained esper beta once belonging to one of your friends. What will you do? Take the disc. Be you will be this new server for Dave or whatever. You capture log the esper beta. It uneventfully tucks itself into your cell ducts. You think you're getting kind of bored with this fetch modest? You like to mix it up now and then. Maybe you'll peruse your selection. And try out another one. Oh, isn't this just like a jumping back to the previous one? I mean, I, I guess I can use this as a refresher. Let's keep this page open and then let's see what what she actually picks first. All right, she's switching to the Jenga modest. What is the Jenga modest? Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. Well, I mean, I guess I, it works like Jenga. Yeah. Not really much to guess work here, it's just, it's just Django. Which, frankly, I don't even understand how that's gonna work. Cause Jenga, you can get anything you want. But you can also collapse your entire tower. So, I don't even know how that's gonna work. It's gonna be a mess, potentially. You swap your modest to Jenga, ejecting your decks in the process. Looks like the time capsule has reset itself. It is sprouting a new bud. Presumably something else will come out when it blooms again in about 400 years. To bet you won't be around to find out what it is. Oh, you never know, we just might be. Oh, there's my Jenga Silidux. Can't deny that it's kinda cool, but it's gonna be so messy. Your modest grabs the 18 cards needed to set itself up. It divides each card into three capture log blocks. You begin picking up your items. The item is capture log chopped into three blocks, and distributed randomly into the block tower. Ooh, that is really terrible. So that means you have to grab every part of your card to get it. That really sucks. And I guess if you make a mistake and the whole thing collapse, all your items come out. Great. Just what we always wanted. You gather up the rest of your items. Might as well try it out. You go for all the blocks containing your tangle buddies. Careful. Careful. 
My tango buddies. Oh, damn. See? I, I knew that was gonna happen. Switch to Pictionary, Modest. Uh, what is Pictionary? Pictionary. Pictionary. I actually don't remember what the heck Pictionary is. Is it is it the one where you draw the thing that you're trying to guess? I have no idea. I'm not gonna look it up right now. I'll just I'll just see how Jade explains it. Yeah, that one's obviously not gonna work. You switch to Pictionary, a choice based on a strange whim from the mysterious others of democracy. What is this? Oh, we had a poll. <laughs> Apparently everyone likes Pictionary. Why? Try out new Pictionary models. Wait, what? Oh, okay. She... I, I, I don't know. Okay, you start by trying to grab your lunch top. After you dish an unwelcome solicitor first, that is. You, you've got to concentrate here. Wait, this is a troll, isn't it? It's not a chum, it's a troll. Or is it a, a chum? Mm, no, no. We okay, draw lunch top. Oh, okay, so you have to draw it to get it. Well, I hope you're good at drawing, Jade. I mean, arguably, that's very good. You draw a really nice looking squiddle lunchbox on the capture log scribble pad. Sweet. The modest recognizes what you were trying to draw and snaps right up. Nice going. Wait, hold up. You have to draw it to collect it? How do you get it back out then? You draw it again? Okay. Capture log the beta. Thanks, Dave. She's a really good artist. Look at these fabulous beta envelopes you just drew. Your Silidux thinks they're fabulous too. Yeah, thanks Silidux. Quick, random scribbling. So arguably, can't we just draw anything and have it magically appear? Or is that breaking, you know, the laws of equivalent exchange or something? You do a very quick doodle of nothing in particular. The scribble pad appears to be processing the shapes. Is that... is that... Charles Dunn? I mean, sure. He doesn't come out. But we, we, we collected it though. Since you do not actually have a Dutton photo lying around, the pad capture logs a Dutton photo ghost image. It is not a tangible item, and can never be used ever. It seems to be more of an imprint on the card itself, like a watermark. However, the back of the card does seem to contain a viable capture code for a real Dutton photo, for whatever it's worth. Which is very little. So you're saying, we can't actually get it because we don't actually have it, but we can make it? I'm just guessing, because you know, it made a code. So we can probably make it. Not that I need that, but you know, we could draw something awesome later. Draw a pumpkin for now. Yay. She's very good, actually. You sketch a beautiful succulent pumpkin, knowing perfectly well that a pumpkin ghost image will be captured along because you're quite sure there's not a pumpkin in this room, and there surely never will be. Man, you keep saying things that won't happen, but they happen. Yay. You capture along a pumpkin ghost image. At least you have to capture code for it on the back in case you ever want to replicate a real one. Yes, in case we ever want a real pumpkin. Oh no. What is this? Oh no. Get the rest of your items. What the hell is that? Oh, they're... What? They're like gloves. Sorry, Jay, but I'm about to criticize this drawing. You start by drawing your tangle buddies, but it looks like it's having trouble understanding the shapes. Darn, you wanted those. Capture log base on card with Dutton ghost image. Did you get it? I don't see you drawing, Jade. I mean, that's a pretty good drawing. It's not up to you to say what card goes on. The modest size. All you get to do is draw. Anyway, you try sketching your eclectic base. It's kind of hard to draw accurately. I mean, that's pretty good. And we got it. Wait, it's a ghost image, actually. No, that's just a ghost image of an ordinary base. That's not right. 
You try again, focusing on getting all the mechanical details just right. I mean, that's pretty awesome too. <laughs> Ugh. Guess we can't get the details of our base. Oh no, busted. The jig is up. What jig? I was here just- whoa. How come you just teleported back in your room? You will return to your bedroom without the rest of your loot. You doubt you'll have time to go back and get it. You guess you have inadvert inadvertently said that all weird. Left your own time capsule over there for whatever party may find it in the future. Lucky bastards. Time to install that beta. Dang, she has a super cool, you know, ho holographic or whatever 3D monitor here. You get started installing both discs. Might as well get a jump on it to avoid the sort of future drama that results from poor time management decisions she's sticking ahead. Pester chums. Yeah, it was this image earlier, so it was a troll. In the meantime, we decided to touch base with your pals. Ugh, no, not those pals. The troll slum can just sit tight for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm up with the chums, not my trolls. Pester Rose. Hey, still love this thing. What's with this question mark? You can't contact her? Ectobiol- Actually, you know what, let's get a good look at this first before we start the pester log thing. Mob bob. Yeah, I think this is towards the end where we're supposed to exit that area, but I didn't- I didn't do it in the video, but I did it afterwards. Ectobiologists began pestering tentacle therapists. Rose, are you there? I went through the gate. Nana said you might be here too. Are you in kind of this spooky glowy place with oily rivers and stuff? Let me know, okay? I think she's- Well, I think her house should have been transported there, right? Because it doesn't really make sense for her to go to John's house, does it? Who knows? Garden Gnostic began pestering ectobiologists. John, hi. Hi, Jade. Guess where I am. Are you in the ground below the clouds yet? Yeah. Wait, how do you know that's where the gate goes? Did you talk to Rose? Can she still see me while I'm down here? She won't answer. No, I haven't talked to her yet, but I'd like to soon. I've got a lot of catching up to do with all of you. Sorry, I've been so scarce. I've just been so busy running around like crazy and looking after my dog and stuff all day. I think he just locked me in my room, actually. Sad face. Oh man, he sounds like such a handful. Yeah, but it's okay. I think he's mostly just looking after you. Like a guardian angel or something. If I were you, I would take him out behind the woodshed and give him a big hug. Okay, that, that statement almost looked like the part where Dave was like, I'm gonna take him out back and shoot him or some crap. Okay, glad we got like a you know, a positive result from out of you, John. We're gonna give our pet dog a big hug. Okay, happy face. Hey, John, can you hold on? I have to talk to Dave and start playing this game with him. Oh, what game? Asperb, duh, what else? What? I thought you didn't even know what Asperb was. Oh, jeez, I was asleep when I said that, silly. Of course I know what it is. Oh, okay. Where did you even get it? From the ruins? It's Dave's copy. Wow, the thing you just said doesn't even make the slightest bit of sense. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Since I'm getting, uh, since I'm setting the game up with Dave to be his server, yep, I knew that was gonna happen. That was gonna be your server, Jade. Be the trolls. Okay, I'm setting up the game to be Dave's or with Dave to be a server. And you're you're going to need to do the same thing for me. Oh, oh, okay. How can he do that though? He's in another world. Oh, really? This is news to me. Can you see from where you're standing the place your dad's car would have fallen? Oh yeah, I think so. It'll be kind of a long walk though. This place is huge. You should go there and get a copy of the server and set up with me. Oh, and also get your package. Okay. Wait, how do you know my dad's car fell down here? John, will you stop trying to trap me? You told me the car fell, remember? Jeez. 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 This is a jeez war. Okay, fine. Well, color me suspicious anyway. Miss Know It All, my psychic, my what? My psychic pants? Oh, okay. Make psychic pants. John, I'm not any more psychic than you are, though. Ooh, what does that mean, huh? Okay, sure. I am convinced. You have convinced me. Psychic, psychic, psychic. Also, I told you the package was in the car, but I never mentioned that the game was there too. So kind of totally busted, I guess. Give me a P. Give me an S. P.S. The heck does that mean? 
Haha, <laughs> oops, okay. Oh, psychic? Wait, no. How's PS psychic? I don't know, whatever. Okay, ha ha ha, oops, okay. I mean, I know lots of things, but I'm really serious. It's no more information than what you have access to, but you don't know it yet. Anyway, we can talk more about it soon. I won't have to be so coy with you anymore because I'm pretty sure most of the stuff that was supposed to happen has already happened. I couldn't tell you about it because it would have messed it up. Okay, that is fair. Just give me a few minutes while I set up this game. And say hi to the salamanders for me. Heart. Man, she knows about the salamanders too. I have getting troll. Even though I'm in another world. Oh, shit. Okay. We're not gonna go with that for now, I guess. We're going back to Dave and he's gonna pester Rose. Oh, okay. Why is there suddenly so, so many crows in here? Dude, what's going on? We still don't know what Rose is doing. Turn to Godhead began pestering tentacle therapist. Hey, will you open your laptop already? See, this is why you need a phone or something. That alerts you to, to important messages instead of leaving them trapped under three inches of fucking yarn. Laptops don't need cozies. Nothing needs cozies. Cozy is a goddamn adjective. Maybe I'll crochet myself an iPhone snugly. Wait, the heck? Okay, what is this place anyway? What are you doing? I can see your whole damn house here if you want to get filled in or something. I'm sort of the guy with the big picture here. Don't make me bop you on the head with a wizard. I'll do it. Okay, no I won't. Yet. I guess I'll bone him on the fact for now. or uh, for a while. So I don't do anything stupid and deploy like 10 crux flangers. Flangers? Okay. And fuck up the whole game. Oh my god. So many words. Do you think like the Pulitzer committee is secretly scour scouring the dregs of the game fact archives or something? Damn, I can't read this shit, I'm sorry. Is Dave just like panicking because he has no one to respond to his words? Garden Gnostic began pestering turn tech godhead. Yo, yo! Whoa, okay, hey. So you're finally playing the game with Rose. Yeah, but she won't answer me. She's probably just exploring. I'm sure she will come around soon. But it's great that you got her out of there in time. Pretty much you have no idea how much I fucking own at this game. I bested no less than three flaming tornadoes and broke a huge wizard. So how does it feel to be a big time hero? Girl, stop building up his ego. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Mr. Bravey Brave McHarrow Pants. It feels like I am in sports. All alone. And I am the star. It's me. And then the big man comes. That's from the Jeff comics. Hey, hey, hey. But it turns out to be crazy. What kind of basketball this this man plays? Um, the hoop is on fire. Okay, I forgot how it goes. No, you got it. We're good. Reference secured. Yes. So now it is my turn to be the star. I will be your hero. It's me. I see why they get along now because they both love, love those comics. Okay, it's me. Wait, what? I saw the game. I'm connecting to you as the server player. Oh man, this is ridiculous. I just set this shit up with Rose and now I got to do like some double duty thing. I mean, I own at the game and all, but can't I just relax for a half a second? Don't worry, you can keep playing with Rose while I just set up a few things. I figure I get a good head start to avoid all the drama you guys are always getting into. Such a bunch of drama queens. You bet you, 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 yeah, yeah, I can't talk anymore. You bet your ass they are drama queens. What? Look, I was getting my ass handed to me by my bro on the roof for like an hour and a half. Uh, explains why he took so long. I got served like a dude on Butler Island. Drama, drama, drama. Wait, does this mean there's a big meteor coming soon? Yes. Will you activate the thing while it start to count out and summon the meteor? Well, I think the meteor was always coming. I guess. I remember seeing that somewhere. Anyway, it'll come when it comes, regardless of what we do. The timer really just lets you know when it's coming. Are you totally sure about all this? Yes, look, here it is. Wait, is this- what is this? What- what the heck is this? It's her DreamBot. DreamBot video log recorded August 26, 2008. Oh! So the meteor was coming since last year. Hmm, interesting. Also weird that your DreamBot can record all that. Okay, we saw- it says last year, so okay. Okay, yes. The image is definitely conclusive proof of something and is 100% understandable by anyone who looks at it. 
how big is this thing? It is really, really big. Like the size of Rhode Island or Texas or what? I need some context to know how much crap I should be shitting on my pants. Didn't we have this conversation like way back with John? Okay, David's crapping his pants. Okay, okay, I don't actually know. Set face. Well, as if like one the size of a bus wouldn't kill me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. Rose is finally open her, opening her stupid laptop. Sir, do your thing, I guess. Have fun. Thanks, I will. Okay, guys, unfortunately, I'm going to cut it short here because I'm a bit short on time. We're going to end things here before we get back to John and see how he reacts to the troll. There's a lot of catching up in this. I guess because like we've kind of been away from them for a while and they were all separated toward the end of Act 3 with everyone doing their own thing on their own. But now we are sort of coming back together again. I, 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 I mean, I guess I kind of guess that it would have been like a uh, like a four rectangle so uh, what the heck am i even saying like basically like how they're serving as servers for each other i kind of guess it would be the four of them with uh rose as a server for john and then dave as a server for rose and then jade as a server for dave i just don't get how that's gonna loop back with dave being a server for jade i guess the package that was in John's dad's car. Has... Or... I don't know. Do we know what's in the package? Or am I just forgetting? I don't know. I guess he's gonna somehow have access to this. And he will be the server for Jade. And then that will get all of them in the game. That would be exciting. And then I'm sure they'll all become heroes in their own right. But for now, we're to leave us here. And we will see John answer the troll in the next part. So thank you so much for watching this. Please let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video.